Saving money can be challenging, especially when you start to lose motivation and you feel the temptation to just go ahead and just spend it all. Trust me, I've been there. And so on this channel, I have dedicated myself to talk about how to save money and how to make it as fun as possible. So one of the topics I love filming is money saving challenges. And in fact, in one video, I even showed you how one P can be used to save you 667 pounds. What? Hello friends and welcome back to this week's money video. If you're new here, Hi, my name's Yvonne and I make new videos every week and I mostly talk about how to save money, make money, and of course, grow your money. And that's because I'm on a journey to financial freedom and independence and I'm sharing my tips and tricks that are helping me so that they can help you too. So if you are interested in these topics, then please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and share this video with someone who wants to make a positive impact on their finances. Right. Featured comment for today comes from Na, who says, what a great video. I'd never thought of savings in challenge form. I've always been brought up being told to just put aside a percentage of my pay packet. I never got told how much, just save your money. I love the idea of doing a challenge. It brings about an exciting and element to it all. Well, thank you Na. And just for that, I'm excited to bring you these challenges. So onward with the video. So I know that some people are naturally really disciplined and really good at saving money and limiting their spending. But for some of us, like me, a bit of focus, motivation and fun is required. So in today's video, let's talk about some fun money saving challenges that you could try out this year. So the first one is the 1% challenge. And for this one, all you have to do is calculate exactly what 1% of your monthly monthly wage amounts to and then based on that set up a standing order to a separate bank account and automate the process for the entire year. So if you are making 1,600 a month, you would automatically transfer 16 pounds into your savings account every payday. And at the end of the year, you could end up with 192 pounds. Now this, doing this is really, really helpful if you are strapped for cash, but still want a fun and exciting way to save money. And of course it reduces the pressure of having to save large amounts of money, but allows you to practice the art of saving and over time it will add up to a nice pot that you can use at your will but is really helpful for Christmas or holidays or to just put towards a treat for yourself so check out the one percent challenge the second one is the band list challenge and I like this one because you can nicely start it and link it to any habit that you want to get rid of alternatively you can match this with anything you might have given up for Lent and the way it works is that you choose a habit you want to give up for example it can be that you're going to try and stop smoking or to cut out buying fast fashion or junk food and then you commit to paying a certain amount each month let's say five pounds into a savings account every time you spend money on something on your banned list now the longer the list the better because it means you are more likely to be saving more money now i really like this challenge because you will not only save a good sum of money because let's be real it's really hard to give up a habit you've been doing for a really really long time so chances are you end up with a nice sum in your saving account but of course as you get more used to the challenge the more likely you are to give up said bad habit because you will probably get so fed up of paying out for these habits that you won't want to <laughs> do the habit again what do you think of this challenge let me know in the comments below what you think the third money saving challenge is to dedicate yourself to selling at least 10 items in your home every single month. So for this particular challenge, you will have to dig deep, deep enough to channel your inner sales person because as we are discovering on this channel, there truly is a marketplace for everything. So Facebook marketplace is really good for selling locally. Music Magpie is really good for music and tech. Depop is really good for vintage and quirky things. Vinted is also really good for selling clothes. Um, and there's so many others like Rebel is also good for designer clothes and handbags. And of course, 
If you don't want to have separate stores, then eBay is perfect for selling anything and everything. And if you are anything like me and you have heap of things in your home that you not only need to declutter but to get rid of one option is to sell them and make some money so i've known people to start selling things in their home on ebay and are easily making 500 pounds a month so it's always surprised me how much people are willing to spend to buy something that is sitting in your home and taking up space but i guess we all know that saying right one man's trash is another man's treasure maybe this is something that we could do together as a community we can all start a decluttering month in our homes and see how much we sell them over the course of the coming month let me know in the comments below if you're interested in joining this challenge with me as i am planning to start it next month in april the next challenge is called the borrow rather than buy challenge and the whole premise of this challenge is to see if you could save money by borrowing things rather than buying them under the rules of this challenge, you have to do it for an entire year for purchases that would be otherwise super expensive. For example, it could be that if you need a new laptop, a new phone, some DIY equipment, or an outfit for a special event, that it could be that you borrow from your family or your friends, and then save the amount you'd have otherwise spent on said items. So there are many sites and communities that you can use to borrow items if you don't have family and friends around or if you just don't want to borrow from them for example instead of spending heaps of cash on toys you could utilize your local toy libraries where children can borrow toys and books to take home and return them when they're done with them and the added benefit of using toy libraries is that you not only get to save money but you also get to save space in your home and not have millions of toys cluttering your home now i know i may be exaggerating a little bit but that's how it feels in my house sometimes so i really like this challenge and it's one that i'm definitely going to be doing once the restrictions are lifted and everything gets back to normal and then another money saving challenge that you can consider is of course the no spend challenge now i really like this money saving challenge because i'm currently on a no spend year and absolutely loving how much i'm saving over time i've done it for specific categories and at the moment i'm doing it for the entirety of non-essential items so the challenge works by stopping you from spending on non-essential items all you can spend your money on is things like food utility bills the mortgage rent and any necessary like travel costs and with everything else you have to say no to any additional spend now you can do this for a specific time period you can do this for a day a weekend fortnight an entire month or if you're brave enough you can do it for an entire year or at least attempt to do it for an entire year and then of course the other option is instead of doing it for a specific time period you do it for a specific category so it could be for your clothes it could be for your shoes it could be for whatever it is that you are finding yourself spending so much money on and what i really like about this challenge is because you're not spending on non-essentials like takeaways clothes and non-essential treats you actually will be surprised by how much you actually end up saving because you're no longer doing this and in turn you might actually end up saving a small fortune so if you'd like to challenge yourself to really save some money as well as change some lifestyle habits i would highly recommend you to try a no spend challenge what i would suggest you do is pick a month to do this i personally think winter is a lot easier than summer because you tend to go out less anyway or maybe you could choose whatever quiet month works for you in which they're like no birthdays or major events <laughs> going around and start your way slowly alternatively you could play around with the period of self-discipline to suit your lifestyle perhaps doing a no spend week every month for a year or a no spend weekend every second week might be a good option for you it's completely entirely to match your personal preferences and then you can match that with a specific goal and reason why you want to save money and you'll be surprised how quickly you adjust to not spending on non-essentials so if you are interested in finding out how such a challenge can make a difference in your life check out this video where i share with you my no spend year where i stopped buying clothes for an entire year and saved a good sum of money i will also make sure to link it in the description box below and you can watch the video straight after this one let me know in the comments below what your favorite money saving challenge is as we are a community who love to share all our favorite money saving challenges and money making tips 
Also remember, if you are looking for free money, make sure to hit that stocks and shares link down below, deposit money into your account and get a free share worth up to £100. That could be potentially £99 free pounds just available for you. So if you like free money, you know exactly what to do. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any future uploads. As like I've said, I'm on a journey to financial freedom and early retirement and I'm sharing my tips with you so that you can help your finances. Also share this video with someone who is looking to make some positive changes to their finances and don't forget to check out these videos which will show you all the financial tips I am currently implementing in my life that have saved me thousands and thousands of pounds and I am not exaggerating. Thank you so much for all your support and I will see you in the comments below and of course I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and good luck with your money saving challenge. Take care. Bye.